Okay, so we've got the connection to the Danites. Now we're at Judges chapter 14. This is going to be starting at verse 5. Now, lo and behold, guess who is a Danite? Samson. Everybody is familiar with Samson. If you ever had any bit of Sunday schooling or any Bible lessons or what have you as a child, Samson was a popular motif that was taught to you. And of course, Samson had great strength, very strong, of a very strong people, I should put it. And lo and behold, Samson had long hair, which was so symbolic to his power and his strength. Now, many people have heard the story of Samson and the lion. But they've never heard the story of Samson the lion like I'm going to tell it. This is going to be Judges chapter 14 starting at verse 5. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand. But he told not his father or his mother what he had done. And he went down and talked with the woman, and she pleased Samson well. Samson's riddle. And after a time, he returned to take her, and he turned aside to see the carcass of the lion. And behold, there was a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. And he took thereof in his hands, and he went on eating. And he came to his father and his mother, and he gave them, and they did eat. But he told not them that he had taken the honey out of the carcass of the lion. So his father went down unto the woman, and Samson made there a feast. For so used the young men to do. And it came to pass, when they saw him, that they brought thirty companions to be with him. And Samson said unto them, I will now put forth a riddle unto you. If ye can certainly declare it, declare it me within the seven days of the feast and find it out, then I will give you thirty sheets and thirty change of garments. But if ye cannot declare it me, then shall you give me thirty sheets and thirty changes of garments. And they said unto him, Put forth thy riddle that we may hear it. And he said unto them, out of the eater came forth meat, and out of the strong came forth sweetness. And they could not in three days expound the riddle. Well, my friends, I've got the riddle. Before I give you the amazing revelation and the riddle, keep in mind, we are going to back this thing up, as I said, to my star chart. We're going to back it up to the Masonic Arch. We're going to back it up to the Alignments. We're going to back it up to the Sumerian Gods. We're going to back it up to the Pleiadians. We're going to back it up to the Locust. We're going to back it up to the Golden Age. We're going to back it up to the Inner Earth. We're going to back this thing up and support it 100%. 100%. This is going to be solidly backed by all of the evidence that I have given you that is scriptural absolutely scriptural so think about this friends and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to break this down a little further but what I want to do is I want to move to the next phase of understanding Okay, and we're going to explain all these details about the hair about the connections to all these things and of course that symbolism with the lion but I want to now bring you right to the attention of this here and it's going to be and he said unto them, Out of the eater came forth meat, and out of the strong came forth sweetness. I would love to tell you who this eater is that the meat is coming forth out of. And it's this right here. Here is the eater. Follow my pen around. Here is the eater that eateth himself that the meat cometh out of.